Hello, how are you today? Good. See if you can get it a little bit more forward. Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you today? Hello, how are you today? Good. This is the Pacific University Transgender Voice Program. We work with primarily transgender women who are working on changing their voice to become more feminine. The main things that we focus on are forward resonance. Resonance is where in your body your voice is sort of vibrating before it leaves your mouth. So you can have back resonance where you're talking kind of down here, or you can have more forward resonance where you're kind of projecting your voice and it's vibrating out of your mouth. And so we coach people to feel the vibration kind of in their nose, in their mouth, and that kind of pushes their voice to be perceived as more feminine. So make sure you have a nice supported tube and begin when you're ready. Good, that sounds really good. I, it sounds like you're losing your breath support a little bit. I am, I've been not practicing as <laughs> nearly as much. As so I think about your breath and your breathing and okay. try it again. <laughs> try to get it. Um, you. It's been something I've been able to use and at times where it's really important. When somebody realizes that you're transgender, that you're not a you know, genetic female, uh, that is usually in Portland, no big deal. Some parts further out, it is a big deal. And in some parts of this, our country, it's a bad day. So it's, it's good not to be read. The trans community has had a debate about, you know, why do you have to pass? And it's a great debate, but the answer is, I don't feel safe. I like being in the middle someplace. I don't have to pass, but I want the option. And having a good baritone voice, no matter how good you look, it's not an option. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you really have to mansplain everything? That one's falling down a little bit. Try to keep it forward. Do you really have to mansplain everything? Okay. Do you really have to? Do you really have to mansplain everything? It's made a big impact for me. Um, it's practice, 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 but I know my voice has changed and it's, it helps me to feel more comfortable in public and to feel more about the real person who I am. And I still have a long way to go because it's just one of those things you have to practice all the time. I have to still slow down. That's one of the things I get excited. Yep, that's and something it's hard. that we've worked a lot mm, on yes. is pacing because you are so quick to jump out and get so excited and then you don't think about what you're... I think it's given me that confidence and that, you know, ability to, to, to be out in the real world because I'm out there every day. And a year ago, two years ago, I was so different and I was so frightened and so worried about everything. Now I feel I can go anywhere. And I understand that it's not for everybody. You know, there's a lot of, of trans people that, um, are okay with who they are and their voices. And I think, you know, and, and they're non-binary and that's so nice. But for me, this has been really good. Now I can't start. <laughs> Using your voice is so important for how you're expressing yourself and how you're expressing your emotions, your well-being and everything. So as speech language pathologists, it falls completely on us as part of our scope.